Greetings, unsettled souls. Welcome to the correct views. Sam I be a very exuberant. Sam I be uh, doing political commentary for the media speaks. Why am I so very happy today? Why the happy, happy, joy, joy song? Do you know what it's like when you work for something for a very long time and feel like you're getting absolutely nowhere at all? Feel like your life is going nowhere. Well, guess what? For two, for two fans, know what I'm talking about. Guess what, friends? The media speaks and has press passes to the Donald Trump event in Canton, Ohio. That means that the media speaks. Yours truly is going to be with Cristal, my behind-the-scenes queen, on the media stand live streaming the Donald Trump event. The way in which I'm doing this is I am streaming the event here. So be on the media speaks. In Eastern Standard Time, it's 421 here, okay? We've done it. Really, we've done it. Um, we, we got press credentials, and we are going to be streaming the event on this channel right here. Uh, tune in around. I'm gonna have them to start at around four or five, even before the whole thing gets started. That'll give Anne Marie and or D Lake time to hop onto the event. They're going to be hosting the live event because Christelle and I are going to be filming it on another camera. That other camera is going to be then put. It'll be slightly higher quality than this is. This is a webcam used for streaming live. Um. The other camera will be posted on my channel, the high def. So that's the plan. A lot of work made off the media speaks is going to be recognized. I want to thank InfoWars for their help because we're going to be trying to uh, do some freelancing for them. I appreciate their help with this, particularly Mikhail Phelan and Rob Do. Thank you, thank you. I don't know what I would do without you. And friends, uh, that brings us here to some Gary Johnson news. And the reason I'm mentioning this is a lot of people have brought it to my attention. How could you just, you know, up and dump Gary Johnson? Well, Gary Johnson has managed to make this a little bit easy. You see, I really liked Gary Johnson. Everyone that knows me knows this. I Gary Johnson... Uh, for President Signs in Christelle and I's uh, window last cycle, always liked the man. Something's happened to him. He is pandering to the far left. <coughs> Either he has been bought and paid for, which I don't want to believe about the man, or he simply wants to make sure he does well, even at the extent of sacrificing libertarian principles to do so. Or maybe he was never a true real libertarian to begin with. Those are the only three options that I see, because the man supports the TPP. He's in favor of illegal immigration. He's a gun grabber. Um, there are a myriad of problems with Gary Johnson. So, jumping ship, as it were, was a very painful thing for me to do in supporting Trump this cycle. And then the more Gary spoke, the more... It became a bit easier, and I've reached out to the Gary Johnson campaign. I did a very good piece on them last cycle. Uh, I interviewed Vice Presidential Candidate Jim Gray. Uh, this time I've had no response from the camp at all, unfortunately. But here's what we've got. Uh, this is from InfoWars. Mikhail Phelan speaking of. Thank you again, Mikhail. Watch. Uh, Gary Johnson gets triggered over the term illegal immigrant. It says, if you use the term illegal immigrants, it's very incendiary. And uh, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and watch this. Uh, Gary coming unhinged here. Oh, that's the... Immigration has been... Uh, that's further into it. He, he ends up going off the deep end here. I don't want to scan through all that for everyone. I'll just read it to you. If you use the term illegal immigrants, it's very incendiary to our Hispanic population here in this country. And he said uh, that he pretty much yelled at the man and said... Uh, 
He goes, just so you know, just so you know, as if he is the be all because I said it, therefore, you know, it, it is sort of politician here. And when Benson, who's doing the interview, argues that the term would be accurate, Gary said they came to this country because they couldn't get in legally and the jobs existed, and you and I would have done the same thing. So just because that may or may not be true, it somehow means that America doesn't have to have laws anymore. And I don't know how that can be the case. That doesn't make any sense to me. The other thing is this. the, And I agree with Gary <clears throat> that they couldn't get in, <clears throat> excuse me, they couldn't get in legally. I'll tell like Hillary Clinton. They couldn't get in legally. So they came here legally. Well, shouldn't you make the immigration laws easier then so that those who do obey the law can do so and come into the country and those who simply want to sneak in regardless of what the laws are, do not get to stay. Because if that makes sense to you, that's pretty much what Donald Trump wants to do. As soon as we're able to vet who's coming in, and as soon as we're able to deal with the problems that we already have, caused by unvetted illegal immigration. So the two are not mutually exclusive at all here, friends. Um, moving on, this is, um, let me shut that down. White House Watch, okay? Get uh, Gary Johnson being uh, rather against the Second Amendment here. We've, we've covered uh, repeatedly how Weld has been not so friendly to it. He's uh, questioning people's basic right to own firearms and to own guns and to defend themselves. Well, now we've got an interesting poll here that shows, uh, oddly enough, Jill Stein isn't moving. Well, she went down. She was at 3%. Now she's at 2 Gary Johnson's up to 9%, 39% for Trump and 43 for Clinton. That's of September 8th. The newest polls that I have seen that were coming in on my Twitter feed were showing Trump uh, up 42 and Hillary 39.9, I believe. That was the last that I saw here. And I've got one more story that I'm going to get to about why I went ahead and jumped ship here. And it's our dumdy of the day. Brought to you by uh, the good people at Change Transportation who are cheaper than Uber. When you talk about listening to the correct views. Brought to you by Sticker Junkie. Where you're going to get better, speak, uh, better stickers and a better price. Because you're going to type in correct views or the correct views on checkout. And lastly, brought to you by the Seacrest Motel. Up in Sandusky, where you're going to be staying in an amazing room with internet to watch the Correct News stream tomorrow at the Donald Trump event in Canton, Ohio. And you're going to get a good price on the room. Why? Come on, say it with me. Because you listen to the Correct News. Tell them that uh, Vicky or her son, tell them at the Correct News, uh, tell them at the Seacrest that you listen to the Correct News. You're going to get one hell of a discount. Um, let me go to this real quick. Johnson must now drop out of the presidential race. Um, a libertarian candidate once in on foreign policy debates, but asks, what is Aleppo? Now, he did say something here to which I have a lot of respect for. He said that it's not the first time he puts his foot in his mouth, and it won't be the last. Various errors happen on the campaign trail. If he would have said that at first, I wouldn't be giving him the dumdy of the day. The reason in which he gets the dumdy of the day is because he tried to play it off as if he thought Aleppo was the acronym Aleppo. There is no acronym Aleppo that I could find on the internet. If I'm wrong, let me know. And what is Aleppo, he says, uh, in an excruciatingly embarrassing exchange. With MSNBC anchors, Libertarian Party candidate Gary Johnson asked what is Aleppo when discussing the Syrian refugee crisis. A video of the interview has gone viral with critics saying Johnson is done and now must drop out just to save face. Um, what would you do about Aleppo? Panelist Mike Barnacle asked. And uh, Johnson said... Uh, he didn't know what it was. So then he uh, Barnacle replies, you're kidding, right? when Johnson asked him to explain what Aleppo is. And then Johnson said, oh, okay, got it. And clearly crushed Johnson, he said after Barnacle explained what it was, the epicenter of the Syrian refugee crisis. 
So basically, Johnson, if nothing else, froze on camera. That's the best spin you can give it. Otherwise, he really did not know what Aleppo was. Look at it this way, friends. I, I've always been a huge third-party supporter, and people that follow this show and follow the media speaks, and all things connected to it know that. But Johnson's going off the deep end, and let's face it, Trump is not your garden variety Republican. I would not be out here supporting Romney. I would not be out here supporting Bush or Twisty Christie. But this here is something I can support. It. It's, it's sort of a cross between populism and libertarianism. And no, Trump's not going to be that great on the Fourth Amendment. And I'm not going to lie and say that he will. But in a nutshell, he's the best option that I see running now, except possibly Richard Dickey Duncan. And he is not on in all 50 states, so that's not an option. Friends, thank you for listening to The Correct Views. Again, make sure you are tuned in tomorrow. I'd start looking on the media speaks are here around 4 or 5 o'clock in the afternoon, <coughs> in the evening, and uh, getting on it. Also, friends, uh, correct views at Hotmail.com. $5 gets you one, $7 gets you both. They are autographed by Christelle and I. Good night, friends. God bless. I will see you tomorrow at the Trump rally streaming. And, uh, yeah, I know I made a Hillary Clinton joke, but, no, I do not mean her ill health. We make jokes here, but we don't wish her ill. We don't want her to win, but we don't wish her ill.